H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Your data adapter will fill the will fill the data set. So once your data adapter fills the data set, you assign this data set for the grid view and bind it. Once you execute this binding, you will ref the refreshed grid view you will see in the UI. So these are the steps. So if I repeat the steps, uh, let me go to Windows R, Notepad, first connection, uh, where I will tell the details of the server, and then command, where I will be giving the query to be executed, and then uh, connection command, and then data SQL data adapter. This is used to fill the data from database into data set so and then we'll put data set and then I'll fill my DS using adapter and then and then for grid view I will give I will tell that the data source is DS and I for grid view I will bind it so these are the steps which we need to follow when you want to connect to any database okay so now what is the percent percentage of understanding all of you so uh, so first you need to give the details of connection connection details you need to give because you don't know which database you want to connect you don't know which server you have to connect for that reason you will tell the connection and then you will give command what command you have to execute so either it can be select star from employee, whatever it is, and then you need to fill your, uh, you need to fill the data, uh, you need to fill the data set using data adapter. So and then you need to give data source. So yeah, how many of you have not understood this? I guess I guess when you practice it, you will come to understand. So now we have to see that. So as now we are having select star from employee, but so GV employee details is a grid view. If you go to home.aspx, we have a grid view here. So normally grid view is used to, uh, for example, we have some controls like text box, drop down list, check box. We have those values. So those are used for small data controls. But if you want to, st if you want to display a complete table, you cannot use uh, you have to use a control called grid view grid view is uh, is one of the ASP.NET control grid view is ASP.NET control which is used to display values like tables or or from the database okay so this is something similar to your text box but a text box cannot display a table right so for that we need to use a grid view okay so so this is about uh, how this is a grid view okay so any questions here even you can format the grid view for example if you see here uh, when you run this I whatever I see I uh, it's not looking good see here uh, let me remove the breakpoint and if I execute this this UI is not looking good it's looking like a plain table so what you can do here is you can actually go to home.aspx okay and then uh, let me stop this and then what you can do you can go to design view you can go to design view and then so now I came to the design view click on this arrow mark so once you come to the design view so now what you need to do is click on this arrow mark okay so this arrow click on this arrow in the design view and then see I'm just clicking on it and then select auto format so click on auto format and and you can select which format you want to display your grid view 
so whatever you like uh, probably select that one so for me uh, let me this is fine so click on apply and ok now if you run this <coughs> you can see uh, this this is ok this is little bit better when compared to before or or if you're not happy with this also you can select different options so auto format you can select uh, uh, you whatever you want so so I can select this one apply ok and you can run this see now I'm seeing in different good view okay so I got a question here uh, can I do can I uh, can I do find any browse or what can I do find any what if we want to give multiple queries uh, actually uh, yeah can I like uh, do it uh, find and browse like I uh, have an employee ID in the top in the form yeah when I give, when I give when I enter five yeah and I hit enter then I want to see Santo yeah or I am only like that yeah good good question so now uh, let's try to work on that yeah so now what I want to do it now is now let me uh, we want to search for an employee for example uh, let me go to source view and uh, and what I'll do here is I will add a text box see initially it was only one line is pickle in grid view but when I changed the format it added it auto it auto generated some code here some color back color all these things because we formatted this okay so now we will see uh, I'll, I'll tell you what is the question which Ravi is asking so now what is this question is in my page in my page what I want to do is I have something called employee ID and then I have a text box here and then I have a button I have a button like this where uh, where I want to search okay so this is what is question so when I click on search uh, let's take when I employ enter when I click on employee and click on search the details of that employee should come in the below is that correct Ravi yeah that is right okay 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 so now let's try to work on that so that is also again the same steps uh, but uh, but before that the command will change for this command we are giving we are also passing a where condition select star from employee where we need to pass whatever we enter in the text box so what we need to do now so we will add uh, we will add here something called uh, employee ID we'll add here ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt uh, ID is equal to txt employee ID and then I need to write run it equal to server okay so I after this what I need to do I'll add a br tag and then I have a button ASP colon button ID equal to btn search and then text is equal to search and then we need to give run at server okay so I'll add some br tags here that's all so I have a text box now uh, if I go if I click on designer see here I have a text box employee ID and I have a search button when I click on the search button I need this so what I need to do now double click on this search so I got this now I don't want to display this in the page load so copy this code cut this code and then put this code in your button click okay so but your command will change your command will change here so what uh, what is your command select star from employee where where uh, where what is the column name here for employee ID for select star from employee so the column name we have for employee ID is EMP ID so so you need to write here uh, you need to go back and write here where EMP ID is equal to you need to write here plus txt dot txt like this you have to write so so this is your command so you told your command now and uh, and now you don't get complete details because you have where condition so based on this employee ID 
So now let's run this and see the difference. So let me run this and see how it looks like. So I'm not writing select start from employee. I have a where condition now. See now I have employee ID and I'm I'm having like for example I will enter two here. Click on search. I will only see. Uh, did we get any records? Yeah, where employee ID is equal to. So let's see why we are not getting records. Let me put a breakpoint here. So whenever you are not getting the expected result, you have to debug it. So how do you debug? You will put a breakpoint there and then you will click on the button again. So let me click on this button. So breakpoint is hit now. So let's check what is the command that is getting generated. Press F10 and see here what is the command text. So we can see here select start from employee where EMP ID equal to 2. So let me execute this. So let me go back to this uh, here and then let me execute this. So why we don't have uh, we don't have 2 is it? Let me click on start from employee. Oh okay employee ID 2 is not there and we are trying to enter that. So so now let me press F5. I think this is working as expected. Let me run this. Press F5 and then now uh, I'll enter 3 here I'll enter 4 here and click on search so I'm getting that so only 4 I'm getting I'm entering 5 I'm getting 5 Shankar. so I'm entering 10 or say 8 so I'm getting like this so we might get a question like if you don't have that employee we might need to display like uh, employee does not exist so what you can do here is you add a label below this below this uh, below this grid view give some space okay you write a you add a label here ASP colon label run at server ID is equal to LBL message okay so what you can do here is you can in inside this your data set uh, will have for example here um, if DS data set is actually combination of tables so so if I have one select query I'll have one table if I have two select queries here I'll have two tables so as of now I have only one select query so so data set dot uh, tables of zero okay Sable tables of zero will be your first uh, query so I repeat again your data set can have multiple queries so it can store multiple tables so as of now we wrote only one select start from employee where employee equal to one if you want multiple tables you can put a semicolon and you can write multiple tables queries so what I'm doing here data set dot tables of zero dot rows dot count if I have this rows dot count equal to zero so what I can do here I can put LBL message dot text is equal to employee details not found and then you can put here an else condition else you can actually do this okay I already got this select okay yeah so let me run this and then I'll show you I'll explain that again to you let me stop this and run this and uh, here what you need to do uh, in your else condition you have to you should not show this uh, label lbl message dot dot visible is equal to false and here you have to put lbl message dot text uh, lbl message dot visible equal to true okay let me run this now I'm searching for an employee here I'm searching for three I get the details of that employee in the grid view so it's taking time but I'm, okay I have a breakpoint is it so here uh, okay so I got an exception saying like no tables are there but still I'm putting tables of zero so what I can do here is I can change this little bit so I can actually write like this if ds dot tables dot tables dot count greater than 
table start count greater than zero and so like this we can write so I'll explain this again let me run this ideally we have that employee right when I enter uh, when I enter 5 let me put a breakpoint okay so let me let me click on 5 click on search so press F10 so I have this command what is the, what is my command I have here select start from employee where employee equal to 5 so let me check I have employee 5 Shankar I have so and then I have this count value is 0 why the count value is 0 okay can you guys guess me why this count value is 0 anyone I did a blunder here so I did one small mistake here so can you guys guess why is so this will be always 0 because I am not filling it where I am filling this I am filling this here so I should I should actually put this above okay S so let me stop this and then I have to fill this here after filling I can check whether the, whether I have the table details or not so now let me run this now it will work like it it should work so let me remove this breakpoint and then go to this place and <coughs> see now if I enter 5 if I enter 6 I am getting the respect to employee IDs um, if I enter 6 we don't have 6 is it yeah we don't have 6 but still I am seeing this grid view so what you need to do here uh, when you are displaying this error message you should put this visible false so what you need to do here uh, when you are entering to this what you need to do here is you need to write uh, let me modify this code gv dot visible equal to false and here you can do like uh, gv dot visible equal to true only if values are there you need to uh, you need to put that visibility equal to true so let me run this see now I'm entering 5 I have this I'm entering 6 no employee details not found so I'm entering 10 I'm seeing employee details I'm entering 20 I don't have employee details so this is how you need to write the logic so let me explain this okay so let me explain this and then you and then uh, let me see whether you understood or not S this code is previously written so now I wrote here uh, I wrote this additional logic so to get the value so additional to this I have added in the condition select star from employee where employee ID equal to this value this condition because uh, whatever value I enter in the text box only that employee details I want so I am writing like this select star from employee where employee ID equal to this after that what I am right why I'm checking here is I'm just checking whether uh, if if I don't have any records this count value will be zero for example let me put a breakpoint and run this let me put here 20 and click on search so 20 employee ID 20 is not there in the table he is not there in the database uh, so now press F10 F10 so the moment I fill this this data set will not have any tables see if I if I click on this I don't have anything here I don't have any rows here so so this table count rows dot count will be zero see here because there are there are no rows so that is the reason why it is going to if condition inside this if condition and uh, it is displaying employee details not found press F5 so for example now it is displaying 0 for example if I enter now 6 and click on search see now what happens now press F10 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 now this count value will be uh, what is this uh, count value oh employee that employee is also not there press F10 so it it will again fill uh, show me let me press F5 
let me press some record which is there I think 5 is there in the table so let me enter 5 click on search now if I press F10 F10 is to debug F10 F10 now the count value should be 1 because we have one record for that cell for that command so when you have one record what you need to do you need to go to else condition and you should not display that message so that message was there employee records not found you should not display that message so we are making visible false and then you should display the grid view because you have one record there so and then you are binding that and you are showing it okay so now if I enter some invalid record so already I'm displaying grid view now now if I enter here 20 okay so click on search now what I should do now I should actually press F10 F10 now 20 count will be 0 because we don't have any ro any rows for employee to 20 so in that case what I should do I should uh, I should not display the grid view now already we have grid view for employee 5 now I should not display that because I don't have any employees now so now I should not display grid view but I should display this message uh, that employee ID not found so I am here uh, I am not that's why I am writing grid view dot visible equal to false when you write visible equal to false it will not show the grid view when you write it visible equal to true it will show you the label so press F5 so this is how you have to write your code Did, uh, is it answered your question Ravi? yes it yeah. is answered and uh, how much percentage is it clear? Uh, we'll have like we'll use uh, maybe multiple two three tables we'll use usually like that uh, yeah we, we might use two three tables but uh, we will not use in the same uh, command so for a single command we'll use only a single table query oh, okay okay so um, but if you if you want to use multiple queries you have to put a semicolon here and then you have to put tables of one tables of zero tables oh. of one okay? okay so let me explain that as well imagine I have a table called employee and uh, I have a table another table for example for that employee I want to get the details of say for example create table address okay uh, let me check whether we have the address table we have address table so let me check select star from address okay we have address also so now what is our goal is let me add another grid view so here uh, here we'll put here uh, a header tag h1 or h2 let's not put h1 it will be bigger h2 okay and then I'll put here employee details and then I will add another grid view say for example I will have here h uh, h3 h2 address okay and then here I will be adding a grid view so ASP ASP colon grid view ID is equal to GV address and then I will give runner server okay uh, let's not uh, let this be simple uh, grid view we will not format this so but if you want you can format you can go to design view so I have two grid views one is employee details and the address details so what I need to do now go to this and here I need another another command so what I can do here uh, don't get confused here I'm going to add another query here so plus I'm going to put a semicolon after that after semicolon I'm going to write select star from employee no address where EMP ID is equal to I'm going to put here plus txt employee dot text so we have two two things select star from employee where employee equal to this semicolon select star from address where employee so we have two tables now so so first thing yeah so just a second I lost power in my home just a second
Okay. So now I have added one more uh, query here. Select star from address where employee ID equal to this. Now what I need to do now if tables dot records are there. So first thing I'm binding uh, employee details not found in the else condition.